In this screencast, I will discuss the tool Voki and how to create a Voki video. Voki, like many Web 2.0 tools, has both a free side and a subscription paid side. The free side is the free Voki. The subscription paid side is Voki Classroom. To get to Voki, go to www.vokivoki.com. And when you're on this website, you will see there are two tabs, one for Voki and one for Voki Classroom. The Voki Classroom side offers options to add and maintain student accounts, to review Vokis, to share them within your Voki Classroom. If you click on the Products tab, on the top menu, you can see the costs for the subscriptions. It's a nominal fee, and it also allows you to record a little bit longer audio messages than in the free Voki version. You also have additional premium characters. And so when I create my example Voki, you'll see that some of the characters are available in the regular Voki, and some of them will have an emblem to indicate they are only available in Voki Classroom. Before we get to creating the example, I also want to show you about the resources available at Voki for educators. Under the Learn tab, you'll see that there is some community um, building within the educators that are using Voki, a teacher's corner, tutorials on how to get started. There's a blog, a newsletter, and other kinds of social media. And there's a link to the lesson plans area, and there's also um, a tab for the lesson plans as well. They're the same. And you can find lesson plans in a variety of subject areas and a variety of grade levels, including adult learning. And so if you're really interested in how to use Voki in your teaching, a good way to get inspired is to look at some of the lessons that other people have done with Voki. So if, you, if you're new to Voki, you'll need to create your account. And you can just click the Get Voki button, fill in the information, and sign up. I'm going to go ahead and log in since I have a Voki account. And once you log in, it will take you to the My Voki tab, which shows you Vokis that you've created within your account. From this tab, you can get the URLs for any Vokis that you've created or share them via social media. You can also create a new Voki by clicking the Create a New Voki button on this page or by clicking the Create tab. So to create a new Voki, you're going to want to customize your character. And you can scroll through the different categories of characters by clicking the left and right arrows. There are characters that are animals, characters that are cartoons, characters um, that are people. And any characters that have the graduation cap uh, emblem on them is only available in Voki Classroom, which is that paid version. So if you're using the free one, you want to choose characters that don't have that graduation cap emblem on them. So for this example, I'll choose an animal. And each character has further options for adjusting the color scheme of the eyes, mouth, skin, hair, tweaking the size of those features for 
people characters, you can add clothing and also bling or accessories such as sunglasses, jewelry, and other props. So once you're done with your character, you can move on to giving your character a voice. There are options for calling in your audio message, putting text into a text box, which I'm going to demonstrate, and that's up to 600 characters on the free version, recording it with a microphone, or actually uploading an audio file that you've recorded elsewhere, such as in Audacity or GarageBand. For this example, I'm going to show you how to uh, upload some text. So I have typed out the text that I would like my character to speak and I have put it in a Word document. And in the Word document I can actually see how many characters I have. So I'm going to copy and paste this using keyboard shortcuts. And then I'm going to choose an accent language, which I'm going to choose English, and a voice. So for this example I'll choose Tom from the US. And you can click the play button to see what each voice sounds like. And then I'm going to click done. And now I'm going to change the background. So I can choose backgrounds in a variety of categories, such as an outdoors background. And then the players are the frames that go around your Vokey avatar. So you can choose different color schemes for those maybe one that matches your character. Then you click the Publish button and give your Vokey a title. And Vokey provides you the embed code that you can use to embed this on a web page or a blog. Or you can just get a URL for either a web browser or a Symbaloo um, page of web links. Symbaloo is a social bookmarking tool, graphical social bookmarking tool. I'm going to choose standard Vokey link and it provides that link below. It adjusts that link to the size of the Vokey that I want. As you can see, the height and the width specifications are part of the link. And then I can just copy and paste that link and put it in an email or a discussion board post or a assignment submission to share my Vokey.